I don't know much about, you know, the flattening of the globe and whatever, but maybe somebody can explain to me why these discrepancies are so huge in regards to the globe and the size of the earth. Um, as you can see, I have inserted some examples of you know, space. This is from the ISS. You can see the uh, you can see the there's no curvature you know or distortion of the solar arrays, so I would assume that would rule out um, you know fisheye lens or whatever. I know maybe I'm wrong, maybe somebody can clarify. but anyway, this is the southern island of New Zealand um, and as you can see, I continued the curve. Um, and basically the earth would be four times the size of the southern island of New Zealand, which I think is like five or six hundred miles. <clears throat> um, anyway, in the next example, this is, uh, Hurricane Floyd, I think, or Florence. Yeah, I think it's Hurricane Florence. Anyway, which I, I estimated was about 550 miles, I think that's what it said, um, as you can see, the globe is about five times as wide as Hurricane Florence. Uh, by the way, these are just single, you know, units. They're, they don't correspond to anything, miles or kilometers, whatever. I just wanted to get a scale. Um, this next example is... Oh, this is, uh, what's that little island south of Italy? Uh, Cyprus, I think? Um, 27 compared to 854, so yeah, I don't know what the math is on that, but, you know, tiny little island, and the world is like 16 times bigger than that tiny island. I think they said this, I think I looked this up, and this island is, uh, I don't know, uh, 160 miles long or something like that. Um, next example is Africa, which I know, you know, this was from uh, the Discover thing that's supposedly a million miles away, but, uh, you know, I don't know what, what people were calling, somebody had mentioned flattening or foreshorting or, I don't know, whatever the word is to where you're measuring a, a object on a globe that's, you know, but you're measuring in two dimensions, so I don't know anything about that, but, you know, basically that would make the Earth 11,000 miles wide. Um, oh, this one I just, a guy put this on, it's uh, a view out of an airplane. And you can see I followed the, uh, or I traced the curve versus a curve from the space shuttle versus a curve from the Hubble telescope uh, website and as you can see his curve is more pronounced than either of the curves from space so that basically throws out anything from an airplane because there's some kind of distortion going on there but anyway, if anybody has any explanation for any of this, let me know. I mean, I'm not arguing flat earth or whatever. I'm just saying there's uh, definitely some discrepancies between, you know, views, curves from space that, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But anyway, if you know what I'm talking about, let me know. Take care, guys.